back to my channel and if you're walking into this little space for the first time I'm Priyanka and I make videos about everything now a couple of days back I posted on my Instagram in case if you're not following me there do follow me I do post some cool stuff especially on my stories so I posted a gratitude uh, post saying that thank you so much for being along this journey it has been eight to nine months roughly and it has taught me a lot literally so much and each time you have given an opinion in a very respectable manner it has made me think and made me do better at my job so thank you so much for doing that thank you so much for making me think in directions i did not think existed so story time is going to be like a small couple of minutes experience of mine that i'm going to share and if you have any opinion any suggestion or any advice on that matter do say it below so it's going to be on random topics on random experiences and if you can carry anything away from that i'll be the happiest person on the earth so let's get started now in case if you don't understand what the title of the video is about it's about bed bugs now bed bugs are wingless creatures that live in your mattresses and cracks and crevices of your house and they come and feed on you at night now you're wondering why i chose this topic as bed bugs i got a call from my friend who is in Ottawa right now and he was complaining about bed bug situation so I was like I just re I remembered my experience about it so I was like let me talk about it so when I first came to Canada to come to this place it took me a month now a month is like I was living at a different place at that time I was sharing my apartment with different people not even sharing an apartment I was sharing just one single room and it was really uncomfortable but eh, the time went on so it's fine so what happened was when I moved to this place I had a little bit of experience with bed bugs now bed bugs in case I'm in Montreal but in case if you don't know two days back there was a report Toronto has stopped in bed bugs so congratulations you guys in case if any one of you is going there um, all the best so in case if you don't know bed bugs are like amazing carriers <laughs> they carry themselves they are hitchhikers so in case if you're sleeping at a place where there someone has bed bugs and even they are not aware about it there are good chances that when you go back and sleep at your own place you're going to carry it with you so what exactly is the deal about them the deal about them is that they are torturous so what happened one night I was really 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 sleepy and I did did have a little bit of discomfort during the night time and when I woke up when I woke up there were marks all over my body and I was appalled now I thought of inserting a picture over here but it is so scary that I don't feel like doing that so yes so there were marks all over my body from my legs to my arms and my shoulders because I usually sleep in shorts and t-shirts and everything of that sort and it's really warm over here because of the heater so there were marks all over my body and I freaked out I thought I had hives or something I had allergies or something because I usually catch random allergies or infections here and there so I just thought that I'm suffering from that but that was not the case so apparently when I had moved to this place I had checked a lot of cracks and crevices and corners of the house and I did not find anything at that time and even my mattress is new I took a mattress cover my mattress is on a metal frame right now it's on a metal frame at first it was on a wooden frame and that's when I suffered some issues with that now I was really scared about it I took up lactocalamine lotion rubbed it all over my body but the itching won't stop it won't stop for a week at least and these are like red huge sore marks on your body now the thing is that the marks are not going to stay they're not permanent but the thing is that the temporary discomfort you constantly feel the constant knee urge to you know scratch you here and there it feels really weird so there has to be a solution to it and the solution the simplest solution is extermination now in case if you don't know what extermination is extermination is like a pest control process which here they call it as extermination so they're going to come they're going to spray your stuff and during that time you have to put all your stuff in black garbage bags so all your 
books, all your clothes, your towels, your sheets, everything goes in that black bags. And once the process of spraying and everything is done, or spraying the medicine all over the place, what you have to do is you have to take out your clothes, your sheets and everything, and you have to put it into a dryer. So in case if there are eggs of the bed bugs on it, they are immediately going to get killed because of the heat. Now, all of you people who are finding a place right now in Canada, bed bugs is the number one thing you have to, have to, have to look. The second thing is, of course, heating, but the number one is bed bugs. Now, bed bugs are going to be a huge problem in case even if one apartment in the entire building has it, trust me, they're going to come to your place. It's like a matter of days and that is it for you. So what you have to do is that when you are checking for a new place, inquire around the area if they have any bed bug problems do not ask the place where you're going to move that Aapke ghar mein bed bugs hai. obviously they're going to say no they're not going to say yes we have that problem so be careful nothing of that sort so when you go to a new place inquire around the neighborhood whether they are facing this problem or whether they have faced this problem or not the second thing you have to do is when you enter the place and you're checking up Check the mattresses and the pillow covers for blood stains. In case if blood stains are there, that means the bed bug is like pretty dominant in that area. The third thing you have to do is when you go to a place where there are like no mattresses, no pillows or nothing where you can check for bed bugs, all you have to do is smell. Now bed bugs leave the room a very rusty, wet smell kind of thing i cannot explain it but you'll understand when something is closed for a very long time it gives out a very uh, rusty very wet musky scent and that scent if you are getting it in the house there are good chances that bed bugs are over there very sad but happens so in such cases try not to take the apartment and the final 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 check you can do is whether the bed bugs are there or not are the bed bug registry now bed bug registry is an online website where you can enter up your building name or your house name or anything and if case in case if there is an extermination that has happened or any review about bed bugs you will directly get it over there so this way you will know what the other people have faced whether there has been any bed bug extermination or not you'll just get an idea about it the another thing you have to check is when you're moving in there in the lease there should be a criteria that if you face any problem from bed bugs you can break the lease at any point of time so in that case you can warn your owner about it that there are bed bugs i'm suffering here are the pictures take action if the owner does not take action as an extermination or any other thing you are free to break that lease but in case if your lease states that under no circumstances the lease can be broken or dissolved then you are in trouble because you will have to live at that place and it's going to be one one hell for sure already moved to a place and you're getting some bites in case if you're already getting some bites and you don't know whether they are ticks or lice or bed bugs or any other thing or worms or anything bed bug bites are usually very linear in fashion they usually bite in like a single line they don't bite randomly and they usually bite on the hands and the legs Ticks are more usually to the area where there is warmth and moisture, so it's more like your genitals and your underarms. But bed bugs are on the outer side, so just be careful about that. It was honestly the treacherous week of my life because I was constantly packing things, I was constantly unpacking, and the fact that abhi bed bugs hangar bhi hangar, it's like a huge problem. In case if you guys have already had an extermination, I would suggest that throw off the wooden furniture that has been marked dangerous. Now, I had a wooden bed frame, so I had to let that go. I paid for it and I had to let that go because apparently it was infested by bed bugs. So one thing is let go of the old furniture. Do not pick up furniture from the footpaths ever. Like it's very tempting, but do not do it. And the third thing you can do is keep yourself, you know, have a mattress cover or something and those are really good so if you have a mattress cover the bed bug won't be able to travel outside and you will be safe the other small tip i can give you guys is have tea tree oil and rubbing alcohol so just create a mixture of that and spray it on the corners of your room near your mattress and everywhere else that usually repels the bed bugs now it's theory but in my case it actually worked because till the time i got an extermination this is what i was doing so 
I hope this helps. And in case again, as, as I said before, any of you is going to Toronto, then all the best. Just check for the area, just check for the signs of bed bugs. And in case if you find one, try for an extermination immediately. I hope you like this story time and little bit of pieces of advice. In case if you have faced an experience of this sort, do comment down below. Can be leech, can be ticks, can be anything. Now this is going to be a little weird when I talk about story time like this, but these experiences honestly teach me a lot, a lot like to be careful in life and to take decisions nicely. So yeah, these are of that sort. And if you have any more suggestions on what I can tell you, guys, tell you a story about or something of that sort, then comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you have a nice day, night, whatever time of the day it is.